Getting to Mars is no small feat. Many nations have tried to even put small rovers on the surface, and until recently, most attempts failed. When Elon gets his way, he'll be a multi-trillionaire from the tech developed along the way. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. I made an earlier video explaining the difficulties, and a handful of viewers took it personally. Hey guys, it's not personal, it's just science, and the technological obstacles are exceptional. These step changes can happen, and each one that does will make Elon a likely trillion richer. This is part one in a series, with each step representing a critical milestone and worth another trillion in returns. So I welcome your feedback because it helps me refine my approach to future installments. So let's talk about the trillion dollar starship. Not millions, not bubba ba billions, but trillions. The Saturn V was a stunning piece of engineering when it was completed, and nothing like it has even been attempted in the decades since. Well, until now, anyhow. The science to build a massive rocket is settled, but no one even tried because the financials were prohibitive. Starship solves the cost factor stunningly. Starship has more payload capacity than Saturn V, with the added benefit of a reusable design. If you wanted to launch a hundred Saturn Vs, you'd need to build a hundred Saturn Vs. Falcon rockets have already validated the reliability and cost savings of reusability. While there is an added design and maintenance cost to reusing rockets, it is still ridiculously cheaper than building a whole new one. Starship is a trillion dollar prospect because it will allow virtually anything to be put into space quickly, easily, and at a lower cost than ever before. If Germany decides they want a 10 module space station, they could have it fully assembled and operational in space within a year of ground testing. If Korea needs a constellation of 300 satellites, Starship could accomplish it in a single launch and be back in time for afternoon tea. If 50 countries want their own lunar programs, they could all get there over the course of two or three years. That is a trillion dollar project and it can be accomplished for pennies on the dollar compared to the past. Well, but just like how it took nations and corporations time to wake up to the possibilities of the cheaper payload deliveries offered by Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, well, it may take a decade for these exciting new projects to be funded and constructed for launch. But that doesn't matter because commercial launches will be available quickly and customers will follow. In the short term, that's only part of the trillion. The rest comes from Starlink. Starship will enable phase two of Starlink to begin, which will allow for the expansion from the hundreds of thousands in capacity Elon recently stated, or the millions I believe are more realistic when accounting for additional markets around the world. No, it will increase well into the tens of millions of subscribers, not eventually, but within a matter of years. SpaceX is already planning on 5 million subscribers in the US alone, which means the same satellites could handle comparable numbers elsewhere in the world while they make their way back to us. 99 bucks a month may seem prohibitive for a remote village in a developing country, but a single terminal could easily serve an entire community, or lower speeds could be offered to allow for more terminals in that space. Even with some percentage paying less than the 99 a month rate, 
there will still be commercial customers for airborne flights, ships at sea. All of those guys would surely pay more. And that's to say nothing of specialty applications like backbone data transmission or ultra high speed, high frequency trading from one coast to another or internationally. 1% of the global population is 79 million people. And that would mean 94 billion a year in revenue. 79 million subscribers may sound high, but Comcast has over 30 million in the US alone. Yes, the tech is different and has inherent limitations imposed by the sheer physics of it, but the US is only 6.1% of Earth's land area. Starlink is already a beast, and it's by far the fastest and most reliable internet I've ever had. Starship will take it to the next level. So Starship is the first stepping stone on the road to Mars, and if every interplanetary launch costs a billion, well, Mars gets out of reach pretty quickly. Well, Starship costs a fraction of that. In the unlikely event there are zero countries interested in funding a mission to Mars, Elon could still afford the project out of his own pocket. And that's before you consider all the additional trillion dollar milestones along the way. If you're ready for the next chapter in this saga, let me know in the comments. I focus on the videos that go well so you can help me make it happen by sharing this video, giving it the thumbs up, subscribing, follow me at 4K Podcast, or becoming a Patreon in the link below. So next up will be the trillion dollar Tesla bots with an explanation of how they're different from any of the bot you've ever seen in production. That one has interview clips explaining what I mean and how it's not only critical to the Mars mission, but will enable a technological step change here on Earth. Yes, another trillion. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Stay tuned, stay juicy, and you know what you need to do. You know you don't need me telling you, but I will see you on the flippity-flop.